Hi students, welcome to my channel. Now I am going to explain 7th class, 5th chapter, triangles, exercise 5.1. First problem, classify the following triangles based on the length of their sides. Observe the first diagram. The triangle ABC, the side AB it is equal to 5 cm, the side BC equal to 4 cm, the side AC equal to 3 cm. The given all sides are different. So the triangle is called scale and triangle. Next triangle. A triangle DEF. So in this triangle, the side DE it is equal to 2 cm. The side DF it is also equal to 2 cm. The side EF it is also equal to 2 cm. So given all sides are equal, the three sides are equal, those triangle is called equilateral triangle. So answer is equilateral triangle. Next triangle, triangle XYZ. So in this triangle, the side XY equal to 2 cm, YZ equal to 3.5 cm, XZ it also equal to 3.5 cm. In this triangle XYZ, two sides are equal. Two sides are equal, though triangle is called isosceles triangle a next diagram triangle pqr so in this triangle pqr they are given the side pq it is equal to the side qr so in this triangle pqr two sides are equal two sides are equal those triangle is called isosceles triangle next triangle triangle stu so in this triangle stu the side st it is equal to tu it is equal to us so all three sides are equal those triangle is called equilateral triangle next diagram triangle xyz so in this triangle the three sides are different those triangle is called scalene triangle next problem second roman classify the following triangles based on the measure of the angles observe the triangle tuv so in this triangle angle t equal to 90 degrees angle u equal to 50 degrees angle b equal to 40 degrees so in this triangle one angle equal to 90 degrees so if one angle equal to 90 degrees then the type of a triangle is called a right angle triangle next problem second roman b so in this problem, the triangle QRS, the angle Q it is equal to 108 degrees, the angle R equal to 49 degrees, the angle S equal to 23 degrees. So one angle that is angle Q equal to 108 degrees, it is called obtuse angle. So in a triangle, one angle is obtuse, then the type of a triangle is called obtuse angle triangle. Next one, second Roman C. So observe the triangle IJK. The angle I equal to 86 degrees. The angle J equal to 34 degrees. The angle K equal to 60 degrees. So all three angles are acute angles only. So the type of triangle is called acute angle triangle. Next problem, third Roman. Classify the following triangles based on their sides and also their angles. Third Roman A. So in this triangle IJK, the side IJ equal to 4 cm, the side JK equal to 3 cm, the side IK it is equal to 6 cm. So all sides are different. So based on sides, the type of triangle is called scale and triangle. So observe the angles. The angle J it is obtuse angle. So in this triangle, one angle is obtuse angle. So the type of triangle is called obtuse angle triangle according to angles. Next, third Roman B. The triangle LMN. The side LM it is equal to 4 cm. The side MN it is equal to 3 cm. The side LN it is equal to 5 cm. So all sides are different. 
so based on size the type of triangle is called scalene triangle so observe the angles the angle m it is a right angle so if one angle is called right angle the type of triangle is called right angle triangle next one third roman c the triangle t u v the side t u it is equal to 4.5 cm the side u v it is equal to 4.5 cm the side t v it is equal to 4.5 cm so all sides are equal so based on sides the type of triangle is called equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle all angles are acute so based on angles the type of triangle is called acute angled triangle okay students this is about 5.1 exercise thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe my channel